You know the Biden administration is in deep trouble when one of its unofficial propaganda arms, CNN, asks their Homeland Security this question. Is it the policy of the Biden administration to allow as many uh, migrants to come across the border in order to change the political dynamics, the electoral dynamics of America? Of course not. And the facts uh, indicate that that is absolutely false. Since May of this year, of, of last year, we have removed or returned more individuals than in any year since 2015. Well, it's not a shock they deported more people when they've uh, set records every single year of the Biden administration for illegal immigration. Rita, nobody knows how many people have crossed the southern border since Joe Biden opened it on purpose. Estimates run between 7 million and 10 million. Enormous numbers of illegals flooding into the United States, many of them now coming from the Middle East, coming from Africa, coming from, from China. And it's created a, a total disaster in the border states, as well as in cities like New York, Chicago, and Denver. Now, there's increased pressure on President Biden to uh, switch his priorities and look at protecting that U.S. border. We had a college student who was killed by an illegal immigrant in Georgia. Yet President Biden is tweeting things like this. He posted, Congress must pass the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act so it can make police reform the law of the land. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy replied to that with, here's a better idea, pass the Lake and Riley Secure the Border Act so we can stop draining police resources on illegal aliens with criminal records and start deporting them. Instead, say her name, Mr President. Now, Lake and Riley's family have called her murder an avoidable tragedy. And, John, this is a crime that has really had an impact in the US. There, there was a massive rally. People uh, understand that this illegal immigration, it isn't just something that is affecting those border towns. It, it is having an impact across the country. You know, Rita, a lot of people have been murdered by illegal immigrants over the years. But for whatever reason, this murder of Lake and Riley by this illegal Venezuelan criminal, and he was a criminal, mm. you know, for, a, a kind of a career criminal that wound up committing this this murder. This has really galvanized a lot of people in the United States, and 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 people don't like illegal immigration. You know, people don't like the crime. People don't like the threats of terrorism. People don't like the strain that's put on social services, the the lack of housing, uh, and and so forth. And I think this crime, more than any other, has been kind of a rallying point for people to, to stand up against illegal immigration and really try to stop it. Absolutely. And you know what? Hispanic voters don't like illegal immigration. It's something that confuses some in the media. But just because you're a migrant doesn't mean you back illegal immigration. Now, let's move on to Republican presidential hopeful Nikki Haley, who's a staring down what could be her final battle against Donald Trump on Super Tuesday after a string of defeats, some of them you might call humiliating defeats in Republican primaries. Uh, some commentators, uh, including uh, Michael Goodwin in the New York Post, blame her losses on her complete ignorance of her own party. He wrote, she's out of step with the party she wants to lead. She doesn't seem to like it very much and its voters have returned the favour. Some described her as appealing to a party that no longer exists. John, it's hard to disagree with that when you look at some of the folk funding her. Uh, they're precisely the sort of people the Republican base loads. Yeah. You know, I, I've got a news flash for you, Rita. Nikki Haley has just been announced the winner of her first primary, and that is the Washington, D.C. primary. So the one place <laughs> Nikki Haley was able to win was the swamp. And I mean, that kind of tells you everything that you you need to know. Yep. The Republican Party has moved. Republican voters have moved. And I think most Republicans now believe that we are in a battle for the survival of our country. And, and when you see the things that the Democrats are doing nowadays, uh, Republicans want somebody 
who's not a traditional politician. Republicans want somebody who's going to be a street fighter, who's going to go toe to toe mm -hmm. with what the Democrats are doing and try to beat them. And most Republicans obviously think that Donald Trump is that candidate.